This guy on the team was basically like the 12th guy off the bench. And he said he played like five to 10 minutes a game. Oh, wow. Like they just never subbed. Oh, like if you have players, that. you don't need so to So you don't sub. need to sub. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Is that your wife's blanket I could borrow? Do you mind? Oh, yeah. Thanks, because my jacket's kind of hard. I kind of wanted to go get it. And I'm like, yeah. if you don't mind, but she comes back to shout. Yeah. So, I mean, again, it's... Yeah. I don't know how Kalen's experience has been in terms of... Like I said, Jet likes the kids. <laughs> yeah, he, he loves kids. the guys. Yeah. He likes being on this team especially. Yeah, he does, yeah. I mean, obviously, we wish they'd be a little more competitive, yes. but... Yeah, I think I, I sometimes see that the loss is getting down a little bit, but overall, I think it's having fun. I mean, I've been on teams where we've lost every game in a season. Yeah. But as long as I'm playing, I'm yes. like, yeah. Yep. It's fun to win, but it's more fun just to play. Yeah, to play. Yes. So, like... One of Jet's friends at school yeah. plays on NBU, and he okay. was one of those kids that was here at BYC and left. Oh. And so I pieced together this story talking to talk to his dad. I talked yeah. to like some of the coaches. And was that part of the reason? Well, they loved the coach and they wanted to. Yeah, they said the coach went, kept saying BYC's not supporting me. Traditionally, BYC has been more focused on girls' programs and boys' programs. Oh, interesting. And so their girls are very good and very organized, but their mm -hmm. boys have stunk for a long time. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. And so the funny thing was is. The first story I heard mm -hmm. was that BRYC had fired their coaches, and then it turned out that's not the case. The coaches had actually got tired and left. Yeah, makes sense. Which seems to be a theme of what you're hearing too recently. So that's, or and, that's uh, I mean, if they're treating you like that as a volunteer, you probably don't treat their coaches very well. Or they're oh, it's well terrible what they do. It's ridiculous. But the NVU coach... Um, so again, his friend plays NBU, uh -huh. and That's it was amazing. really funny because we we showed up to that NBU game. Yeah. He goes, I think I play Matthew today, oh, and funny. it turns out he's a wing, and Jet was on that same side, so they were playing each other, oh, like literally awesome. playing against each other that's the whole fun. time, which was fun. Uh -huh. But so he's a starter, he's a wing, but they have they have like 17 guys on the roster, 18 guys on the roster. So he he starts, but he only plays basically 60% of the game because oh, okay. they do like a mass six-person substitution like 20 yeah. minutes into the half. So I was like, would you rather be on a team that was in third or fourth place, but you play half the game, or would you rather get your butts kicked and play 100% of the time? Okay, that's a good way to look at it. And I'm like, I mean, yeah. I asked Jeff that. Yeah, what I mean, he say? seriously. He's yeah. like, you know, I don't really even know. He's yeah. like, I'm not sure what I would just choose. And then again, if you, if you like the kids, it makes sense to stay for now, at least. But playing half a game every weekend and just having one half a game every weekend? Yeah, that would get That's super old. fun. No, it's not super fun. You're right. But I wonder, like you said, winning some and playing half versus, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, the bottom line is, though, if you're get if you on a team that just gets put into the right division, yeah. then you get both. Yes, true. So if you could be on this team but be yes. in a slightly less competitive division, yeah. that'd be the perfect and, scenario. And I heard this is a more competitive division than we were in last year. We just caught the tail end of the spring, and it was so different. And oh, really? Oh, yeah. It huh. was really different. Um, Good pass, Jed. Um, so they, and again, the, the program, BRYC is set up so that, so they have their bridge teams and they have their elite academy team. So we're technically elite academy. The bridge teams are designed to play NCSL. Okay. And then they're supposed to build off of those teams and then have the academy teams play EDP. Again, if that if, if their team was the NVU team, they fit right into yeah. that. I mean, they're in third or yeah. fourth place out of nine yeah. teams. They're perfectly placed, yeah. right? They just continued that model with this. I see. We're going to have an EDP team, but we're not EDP level not because EDP. they just have, haven't been able to rebuild the talent, which yeah. you can't. You can't. There's right not going to be enough good people that yeah. want to leave their club. Yep. Especially with this age, I imagine. Like you well, said. Jet. He's pulling Jet out already for five minutes. It's unbelievable. I don't get it. I mean, I do get it. He's punishing him for being.